Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Girl, call attention, your beautician. Cause your hands gon' need fixing. Y'all know what yes. it is. Shout to all my life. Call your tissue, your beauty. TJ, give me the people's choice. Okay. So, it's been a, one long day, one long Friday. One long day. And I just decided that I am going to straighten my hair for the first time in almost two years. I never really flat out my hair before I had natural hair. But today, I think I'm going to just try it even with all this uh with all this heat we have in Florida. I think I'm going to try it out. The last time I tried this, I didn't succeed. I only made it to I usually part my hair in four sections. Only made it to one section of me even blow drying my hair out and then I was just like F it. Like I can't I can't do it anymore. So Today, I just decided I wanted to just have a change. I mean, that's the whole point of having natural hair change. So, I just decided that I'm going to straighten my hair after I deep conditioner. I really, I'm really straightening my hair so I can cut my split ends off and my fairy knots because they are horrible. The longer my hair gets, the more I get and I'm just really tired of having them. Maybe I'll throw a picture in if I remember to take one of these knots. And anyway, I'm off to deep condition, shampoo, deep condition, flat iron, flat iron, or maybe straighten with a straightening comb. My grandmother used a straightening comb on my hair, so it, it worked for me. I know some people are against the Marcel irons, but I like it. So I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. But either or, I'm going to try to straighten this out. So, I'm right. back and I just got done washing my hair. And I used, um... I used, um, the Silk Elements Olive Shampoo. And for the deep conditioner, I used this, the Olive Oil... ORS replenishing conditioner as my deep conditioner. I really like this stuff. I don't too much care for this stuff, but I mean, I've had this bottle for probably over a year now or close to a year now that I bought when I went in the Sally's and went on some type of hair product spree and I really didn't like it. I really don't like it, but I couldn't find a shampoo for this, so I bought this. I really don't like this. I love this. So this is what I have in my hair for my deep conditioner. Um, I also use the um, the Dr. Brunner's um, Castile Soap before I use the Silk Elements Olive Oil Shampoo. And I used that because I didn't really want to use a clarifying shampoo and that gets my hair squeaky clean so it's just like a clarifying shampoo um right now i'm about to put on a plastic cap i'm about to go sit under my bonnet because it's just way too hot or i get i just don't feel like pulling out my hair dryer my heart hat hair dryer so i'm gonna put the plastic cap on i'm gonna go sit under the bonnet for maybe 45 minutes and then i'll be back be back until after I rinse out my um, conditioner which I rinse out with cool water and I'll probably detangle detangle put in the four sections blow dry after I put on my heat protectant which I'll be using this the silk elements mega soap I wasn't really too fond about this but again I also had this I bought this when I bought the conditioner and the shampoo which I did kind of like the conditioner so I used all of that but I bought all of the stuff together so I'm going to use this because I heard some good things about this and I saw someone else use it and they had good results so I'm going to use this um, rinse my conditioner off detangle put my hair in four sections blow dry and then I'll flat iron not sure if I'll be back to show you um, me flat ironing or if um, I'll show the finished results yet.
I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so I'm back. And they, these are my final results. It's not really straight. I just really flat iron it just to see, I guess, my length. And I'm also going to um, be doing a trim to my hair. It's per usual, the way it was when I had a relaxer. Poofy. So, this is it. Side, the back, this side. It's a full view. It's pretty late, so I'll be going to bed soon. And I guess tomorrow I will trim, and eventually I'll co-wash. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it this way to work. I don't want to go to work this way, and then everybody think, okay, well, now she's gonna straighten her hair. So that's it. But um, yeah. It's okay. I'm enjoying doing this a little bit. Usually it's stuck to my head, but I really like that because I don't have to really comb it. I can just finger comb it like this. I am going to say that I lost a lot of hair. A lot of hair. Like it was just everywhere. And I don't think, I think it's going to be a while before I get it flat iron or straighten again and if I do get it done again it's going to be by a professional because it just takes too much time and I really hate doing it I really hate doing it and I also need to get another flat iron because I know the flat iron that I have I have a Solia that I bought maybe maybe wow it's been probably two and a half years since I bought it and the the ceramic on it the ceramic plates on it are basically shot so it's time for a new one I wish I would have took advantage of that sale they had at Sally's they had FHI fees I think that's how you say it they had those on sale for basically $30 because they were on sale and then 50% off somebody probably took advantage of it but I didn't I wish I would have but that's it this is my results big poofy hair I'm feeling like Shaka Khan so tomorrow I will trim these ends because they don't look that great and really they're not that straight I wish I found my straightening comb but I couldn't find the comb I found the the oven but I couldn't find the comb because then my hair would have been really straight and then I could really see it but I guess I'm gonna do the best I can with what I did with um, the ends and trim the ends tomorrow and then that's it my roots and stuff they feel very my hair overall feels very healthy I use the uh, silk elements the olive oil kind to um, use as a protectant before I flat iron and then I used um, motions heat protectant when I went through each part because I had four sections and then I combed them out a little bit and then I put it on there before I flat iron every piece um so yeah I don't think I'll be flat iron again I keep looking this way because I'm in my bathroom and my mirror is over here so I keep looking this way to look at my hair I'm just not used to feeling it kind of move when I move my head and stuff but anyway that's it for me so yeah um I don't think I'll do a tutorial on it I'm just like vlogging my experience with flat ironing my hair for the first time so yeah all right good night y'all good afternoon good morning whenever you're watching this video thanks for watching bye let's go let's go let's go Girl, call attention, your beautician. Cause your hands gon' need fixing. Y'all know what yeah. it is. Shout to all my call life. Call attention, life. your beautician. TJ, give me the people's choice. Yeah. Uh, uh, Come on. Uh, yeah.